Welcome back everyone. This next video response is a reply to a question and comment uh, made by Christmas for Cause. And basically he's uh, asking about DMX lighting and uh, what happens when you don't have a light that's equipped with DMX capabilities. And you still want to be able to have that plug and play, but yet be able to shut the lights off whenever needed. Okay, this is my solution to it and it's the Easy 8 by Eliminator Lighting. Now pay no attention to this bottom portion, this is just another uh, uh, switch uh, board that I use here. Uh, but these are about, oh, I don't know, anywhere between $25 and $55 depending again where you live. Um, if you buy them used you may get an even uh, better deal. But typically that's what I've seen them run for. Again, don't quote me on that, but um, it's real simple. You just, you could obviously, as you can see, you could attach eight different lights to this here, and you control them by these switches, and also these buttons. What these buttons do will just basically, you push it, it'll power up whatever you have uh, plugged into it. You let it go, it shuts off. Simple. So, I mean, if you want to strobe a certain type of light, as long as you can do it without blowing the light bulb, if they have light bulbs, uh, but that's what it's for. So again, simple and cheap solution to uh, DMX uh, lights and also lights that don't have DMX capabilities. Okay, here, pay no attention to this part here. This is just uh, a case that I, I put these strips in, okay? But this is the back of that Easy 8 light, uh, outlet strip by Eliminator. And basically what you do, you attach a cable here that it comes with it's a two a two piece set and you attach it with these cables and it allows you to have control by attaching this here to that and then obviously you secure it there and then you have the power coming out through here okay you attach this cable to this other strip okay now this will go to the truss or whatever you may have and uh, basically connect all the lights you want as you can see it has eight of them and then it has an additional one for an unswitched uh, light so maybe if you have uh, black lights and you never turn them off that could be a, an option for it uh, but otherwise these are your eight lines that you use and uh, that the other end of that one uh, cable that I showed you goes here and so the un only other power you'll need is here so virtually you'll only need one cable running from the strip here to the eight lights or maybe nine that you have to the truss so it looks a lot neater and less messy and like I said yeah it's not DMX but it still gives you control over the light and it's very 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 affordable um, and like I said it, it looks a lot neater because you only have one cable actually yeah one cable running to this thing uh, with the exception of the outlet here but instead of having eight running to the truss that's all it is and like I said I mean you could attach it with these uh, holes here and again you use a clamp you could use a bolt whatever you want to the truss or the t-bar whatever your preference is or I, however you have your setup, it may be, I don't know, on a piece of wood or something, I don't know. But, like I said, the point being is, it looks a lot neater. It's affordable, gives you control over your lights. So, anyways, if anybody has any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or uh, email me. Thanks again for watching.